Hello everyone, this is Papamots. Welcome to some more Homeworlds commentary. This match is between Popo and Amnikin, and as it should say in the video description, this is the 2000th game played on Board Game Arena. And because I've never heard of Popo and I have heard of Amnikin, I think this is probably going to be a major uh, domination by Amnikin. And so I have also prepared a second game to cast after this one. All right. Popo is going first. Takes a uh, green gold, yellow green Goldilocks with blue ship to start. Amnikin takes, oh, well, that is interesting. A uh, green blue banker with green ship to start. So I think the idea here, this is the, um, what I've been calling the insta freeze, where the second player chose the same small star as their opponent and a large ship to match. So after Popo builds, Amnikin builds, there are no, large, no small greens already. So if Amnikin trades for, say, Y3 immediately, oh, wow. Okay, I don't, you don't see this very often. It looks like Popo's an absolutely brand new player, but they immediately... I almost wonder if... if Amnikin and Papa were in communication. This was a live game. Uh, they might know each other. They might have been in communication. Amnikin was may, may have been giving hints because this is not something you see new players do. Trade for a new color right away. Usually they'll just build and build. But that was exactly what Papo needed to do. So Amnikin trades for the Y3. Papo builds that uh, that green, which they absolutely needed to do. And Amnikin now also builds. So uh, Popo has saved themselves like an expert. Um, I'm I'm pleased. And you know, like I said, a little suspicious that Amnikin's giving hints, but that's okay if, if it gives it, if it gives us a more interesting game. Okay, so Amnikin now could potentially uh, sacrifice Y3, move the G1 across the universe into Popo's home, and knock out one of Papo's stars, and Papo would be in a world of hurt. So Papo should move one of those greens out, or trade it. Well, no, not definitely not trade it, because Papo wants to keep... Well, I, I guess they could trade one of the greens. They could trade their large fairly safely. Uh, let's see if Amnikin knocks out the star. No, trading for blue. Well, let's see. This game was played in June 2022. Now, Amnikin was clearly quite good back then. They had a they had a high score already. Papa brings in another blue. Amnikin spreads out. Oh, and and I I guess I can comment on the graphics. That these aren't the the modern style of the system appearance is a, a curved edge and a double outline instead of a dashed outline for the home world. Um, so you can tell it's an old replay. Okay, Papo trading for yellow. Green for Amnikin. Uh, yeah, Papo should spread out these greens because their their home, green home star has been in danger for a while now. Papo just building more blue. Uh, yellow now. I mean, it's all right. The, the The biggest problem with that, I think, is just that they need to spread out their green. Yeah. So now, Amnikin has changed to a medium green star. So the larges are available, but neither player has sp spread their greens out from their home world. Boy, weird to see both players with green stars. Amnikin's going to spread out. Yeah, Amnikin knows what's up. They're going to get ready to build that, that large green. So Papo does as well. Amnikin gets one, so does Papo. Nobody going for the the red yet. I'm mm, I think I actually I favor Papo's position slightly. They've they've got more mediums and more smalls. And they've got a they've got blue in the colony where they have their large uh, flagship so Papo could trade it for another color. Amnikin doesn't have that opportunity immediately. Yeah, and Papo should spread their 
blues maybe. Okay, Amnikin doing a factory for blue and yellow. Uh, Popo could factory for uh, double yellow. They shouldn't build a blue right now because their blues are too concentrated. Well, that's interesting, getting aggressive. Putting another blue there, that um, will discourage Amnikin from building blue and gives Papa more room to build blue. If I'm Amnikin, I think I trade one of those for a red. Oh, no. Amnikin doing the, uh, the same. It cost Amnikin a ship to, a sacrificial ship, though. But those B3s are still available. Somebody needs to get some red. Okay. Trading the blue out for red. That blocks the B3 build. I kind of liked Papo's first idea of the... Well, let's see. Pa Papo's... Uh... No, that was, uh, that, that was blue. For, for a second, I thought that that medium ship was green and that they've been sitting on a, a home world and mothership danger for a long time. No, okay. Um, I didn't mind the factory too much. Build, build two large blues, one at home and one in Bleb. Amnikin would only be able to threaten one. They'd only be able to destroy one of them with an overpopulation. And then Papo would get the first opportunity to build, to trade for red. Yeah, I, I like the factory, but uh, it's natural to be nervous when something comes into your home world. Okay, Amnikin doesn't mind a factory. Okay. Papo capture, build the B3 and overpopulate. I think I would factory to overpopulate these blues and build some more red at home. The capture's not bad, though. The trouble with the capture is that it gives Amnikin something more to do. They can trade, let's trade, say, the, the B3 for an R3, and then they're out of danger of overpopulation here, so they'll get to keep their spare flagship, and they'll have red, so that counter-invasions aren't quite such a threat. Yeah, that's a good choice. Papo with a factory building a blue large oh, two large blues in the colony just to overpopulate the little blue mm, okay well that's not too bad it um it overpopulates amnikin's little blue and it gets your own little blue well destroyed so that it doesn't uh get captured oh but for <laughs> But all three blue builds there is too many. Um, you should knock out. You should build two of those and then rebuild your G three in the colony. Let's see if they remember and take it back. Yes, good. One, two, three. That's just fine. Okay. Things looking pretty good for Papo, I think. Amnikin does a factory to knock out Papo's medium. Yep, makes sense. And um, Papo, if they want blue, they're going to need to trade for it in the, the colony now, which is fine. I, I, I would, if I'm Papo, I, I'm strongly consider. I would strongly consider trading the G two for blue and moving it back home. Because as it is, Papo has no blue at home and. It's pretty common to need to trade your um, your home ships for other colors just to dodge over 
population threats. Okay, Popo building up on yellow, that's fine too. Yeah, looking quite good for Popo here. Uh, Amni other than Amnigan's got a spare flagship, but it's kind of stranded. We'll see if they get anything done with it. Ah, good. Okay, Popo trading their G3 for R3. Um, Popo still... I, I didn't think to, to say it specifically before, but one of the problems that Popo has, it, it's not just that they don't have blue at home, it's that they don't have blue at home and their mothership matches one of their stars. Um, so if Amnikan were to move one of their green ships forward, Papo's mothership and home star would be in danger. Um, Papo not worried about it just now, though. Trading for R3. That puts a G3 in the bank, which Amnikin could build. But wherever Amnikin builds it, either in the colony or at home, Papo could overpopulate it satisfactorily with, a, at most, a Y2 sacrifice. If Amnikin build it at home, then the Y2 sacrifice is worth it to knock out Amnikin's star, and if they just build it in the colony, uh, G2 exchanged for a, a G1 and a G3 is totally worth it. So, to be a little more clear. Okay, Amnikin, I think, does the right thing. They discover it as a star, and so a G2 at a G3 star is a is an investment. Normally you can have a, a G1 at a large star expecting to sacrifice that G1 and build the large star as a ship, but for greens it needs to be a medium because you have to rebuild the medium before you can build the large. And once if Amnikin spreads out these greens then they'll be able to build those two green pieces in different systems where they're in less danger of overpopulation. Uh, Papo, no that's a huge mistake. <laughs> um, Moving the flagship into Dioj, uh, Papo will just sacrifice Red to capture it and be very happy. Oh no! All right, well, sorry, Papo. Um, Papo dodged that insta freeze so so confidently that I thought maybe they were actually a really experienced player who was uh, just getting started on board game arena. I still think they may have been coached by uh, Amnikin, but uh, yeah, this is a definite beginner, beginner mistake. Beginners often think that only red ships can capture. They think that only red ships can capture both, e even if there's a red ship in the system, they, they forget that other ships can use the red ship's power. But even more common is to not realize that... Um, a ship can be sacrificed anywhere. So Amnikin, unless they're playing very easy, is going to take that R3. Okay. Um, Papo had a, an impressive lead for a long time, but no more. Um, moving that yellow... Uh, It's a little bit cute, but Amnikin's got plenty of time to respond. I, the only explanation I can think of for this move is that Papo wants more yellow close to Amnikin's home because Amnikin's in uh, Bluebird territory. They've only got one color of ship at home, so Papo might be trying to... Uh, move more yellow into Amnikin's home for the overpopulation, but Amnikin should see this coming and has plenty of time to respond. Uh, yeah, that's a perfectly good response, trading for another color. Papo sacrificing that G3 at home, maybe? No, just building yellow. Um, Amnikin, I think, you know, that red they just traded for, I think I would be sacrificing that to capture both Invade colony invaders. 
I am again looking at a factory instead. Just gobbling up the reds. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. Um, Hoppo can't safely sacrifice their only red ship to capture this colony. Uh, so Abnigan doesn't need to be too worried. Although if, if Popo gets the rest of the yellow, Amnigan might be in a little bit of a pinch. Amnigan factory-ing again, maybe. No, going to invade that colony, which... Oh, when did... Uh... Huh. How did I miss that Popo lost their flagship? When did that happen? Hmm. Well, I don't feel very clever right now because if Popo used to have an additional large ship, did they sacrifice it for three littler builds? Gosh, I don't remember. Okay, well. Anyway, Amnikin invading the colony. And Popo saying, haha, but I'm going to get your mothership. Uh, Amnikin could trade this for another color and be just fine. Yeah, Amnikin doesn't even need to do that. They, Papo can overpopulate it. And, well, Papo should build rather than moving in. Well, no, that's not true. Because if they leave their, R, their Y2 in the colony, and Amnikin can just uh, capture it. Uh, so Papo achieved a, a, a catastrophe. But um, Amnikin's got plenty of material to clean back up. Here's an interesting position. Amnikin has, has cleaned up the rest of the red, but they put a G3 back in the bank. Papo has a... Uh, Papo can safely build that G3 because Amnikin has no yellow anywhere. Can't possibly get another green into Papo's home. So Papo could get a could get a flagship here. And they do. All right. Um, Amnikin, I bet, is going to get some yellow because no yellow hurts. All right. And by trading immediately for Y3, <laughs> uh, Papo's... Um, mistake of having a green star is finally coming home to roost. Um, Papo can only evacuate one of those large greens. And Amnikin can destroy the remaining large green and that G green star by sacrificing the Y3, moving two greens into Papo's home. Even if Papo evacuates one, Amnikin can blow up the other. Uh, but no, they're sacrificing G2. Oh yeah, so this is the investment finally paying off. They sacrificed the G2 at the Green Star rebuild. The green, I, for safety's sake, I think I'd put the large green in the colony that doesn't already have a large ship, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. And Papo resigns. Okay, well, uh, some... A really nice dodge of that insta freeze and some other really good moves from Popo, but then my my guess is that Amnikin stopped giving hints and Popo still did not too bad, but a definite rookie mistake moving that big red into a, a colony where Amnikin had a large ship and a red available for sacrifice. Okay, switching it now over to a game that I think is going to be a more even matchup. Here we've got uh, Will, and, uh, you know, talk on it. That last game was pretty darn good. I think I'm going to let that stand on its own as its own video, and I'm going to do this one next time. All right, teaser teaser trailer for uh, for next time. In a world where Will plays Amnikin, and they fight for domination of the galaxy. But I'm not going to edit this part out, because it takes like an hour to to clip and then... Re rebuild the whole video. So this is going to stay in. Thank you very much for watching. This has been game number 2000.